Hello everyone and welcome back to another Investillionaire special. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Polkadot parachain auctions and uh, which projects we think it's going to be very, very valuable in the coming uh, two years if they are able to secure their spot in uh, one of these parachain slots. So before we start now, you might be wondering what is the polka dot parachains and what are these auctions what do they mean so uh, to give you a bit of context and go back to the original uh, polka dot architecture so polka dot is actually uh, comprised of uh, parachains so parachains what they really mean is that they are like parallel chains so the whole idea of the architecture of polka dot is that there are these multiple chains the the parallel chains and they're supposed to be kind of communicating with each other so these are the chains they communicate with each other and they're made of uh, two main important things the first one is the relay chain so this is like uh, considered as the main network here all the transactions get finalized on this uh, relay chain so in this chain, uh, it's also responsible for things like governance, uh, staking, and as mentioned here, it is also used for uh, uh, the finalization of the transactions. Now, there are also the parachains. So the parachains, they are sovereign blockchains that can have their own tokens and optimize their functionality for specific use cases. So these parachains they're really kind of custom blockchains so any project can have its own custom blockchain and it can communicate with the main relay chain and uh, this parachain is going to be used for more uh, computing intensive tasks so uh, any cpu intensive tasks can be done on these parachains so for example uh, these parachains will be able to handle smart contracts right these are the parachains here so right now what's happening is that actually these parachains they're being uh sold by polka dot so to get a, to get a spot a slot in for for you for this parachain the crypto projects all these crypto projects they have to compete against each other they have to kind of buy their spot for this specific parachain now in the current state polkadot can support up to 100 uh, parachains and in the future they said that they can even expand this uh, even more so what they are gonna do now how are they gonna determine which project is gonna be uh, you know uh, will win its slot they came up with the idea of doing these parachain auctions so now we know what a parachain is is just you know another uh, crypto project that wants to use to communicate with the with the main chain so it's going to have its own spot in the parachain it has to compete with many other projects using uh, something called the parachain auction so they have to buy they have to bid for their spot uh, on this uh, to get this lot and the bidding happens with the dot token so they have to kind of uh, secure an amount of uh, dot token and then they place their bid the guy the project that has the highest bid is the project that's going to be able to secure its spot so uh, so what's going right now is there are if you go to the parachains.info this is very important what's happening right now is they are doing the parachain auctions so if you go here and you click on auctions you're going to be able to see all the projects that are doing uh, participating in these auctions so there's going to be uh, auctions on these dates so starting on november 11 that's when it's starting it's going to start until november 18 then there's going to be these auctions for these dates and afterwards there they're going to be another auctions so 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 guys these projects all these projects they are potentially you know can make you a lot of money so we advice strongly advise you to look into each of these projects you know try to do a lot of research on all these projects because these projects they're right now uh, getting ready to participate in these auctions so what happens is that uh, when they do this uh, 
auctions they have to raise funds each project has to raise funds so for example the Akala project it needs to raise funds sometimes they cannot raise funds on their own so what they do they do something that is called a crowd loan so basically a crowd loan is the is the project goes to the people you know the the dot holders to the masses and they ask them to help them uh, you know uh, secure this auction so basically we were going to be giving them kind of leasing to them the our dot token so that they can participate in this auction and and secure their spot so right now you can see how much funds has been raised for example by akala you can see there has been seven million uh close to seven million and three quarters of dot which is equivalent to 407 million dollars being raised right now so in order to incentivize the 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 dot holders to to participate in the crowd loans they give you a reward so you can you're going to be able to get these rewards uh, just by lending kind of leasing your your dot for the Akala project and each project has different uh, kind of reward distributions so this is something also to look into however we do believe that Akala is one of the best projects right now and they're giving pretty good rewards so basically you're just going to be making these rewards for free if they win the, the their auction slot you're going to be make, getting these rewards and uh, if they lose so if they don't secure their spot in the auctions you're going to be getting your dot back anyway so you're not going to lose anything now one thing to keep in mind is that there is a, a lockup period for many of these projects and this lockup period is around uh, 96 weeks so it's a long time but some of these projects they are going to be worth it so you're participating you're first of all getting in early on these projects these are hidden gems they can really go parabolic in price so we strongly advise you to go in and try to do more research on on all of these projects and try to uh, dig deeper see which which project you like and then also make sure that you have some dot tokens uh, handy because uh, you will need it for the for the auction uh, so the crowd loans we, we discussed that how do you participate you're going to be so the minimum that you need is you need five dots at least in order to be to be uh, able to participate in any of these crowd loans but keep in mind that the higher amount you have the more rewards you, you're gonna get so uh, uh, it's better to put more money but keep in mind that you're gonna be you will have to lock up this amount for some period of time so you might be illiquid and uh, and uh, now with that being said remember guys that th this is not financial advice um, our video is made only for educational and entertainment purposes and you should always do your own due diligence and your own research before participating in any sale because at the end of the day it's your money it's your responsibility what i am here doing is just i'm showing you the opportunities that are coming because this opportunity you know it's a limited time opportunity you can either take action on it now if you don't it's gone so it's in your best interest to take the risks early on because you're going to be rewarded you're going to be rewarded and you will not lose your initial investment so uh, for example if we take a look at uh, specifically at uh, akala uh, it's a very very solid project and also they're offering so let's go to their website real quickly there so here you can participate in in their uh, cr crowd loan you can contribute now there are many ways that you can contribute uh, one of them is on binance the easiest way is if you go on on binance you'll be able to go on the earn section and then you'll be able to vote but you need dot tokens however we think it might be better if you decide to go with akala network which is very good we're going to make another video uh, specifically diving deep into akala network but for now if you want to take action right now uh, it might be better for you to choose the, the, the this way of participation which is comp contributing and staying liquid so basically what akala are giving you is giving you the opportunity for you to stay liquid even though you're you're lending them your dot token you're gonna receive another token so you're gonna receive the uh, liquid 
uh, crowd loan dot so lc dot a liquid token that represents your locked dot so this way you're not being uh, uh, you're not becoming illiquid with your token so this gives you the access uh, to your underlying uh, dot liquidity so you can uh, swap it and you can use it for other stuff so you can use it for example as a collateral to mint uh, AUSD USD. and uh, also you're going to be receiving your uh, uh, normal rewards and Akala uh, tokens so just keep in mind that some projects offer this a way of staying liquid if you do it through their website here for example for Akala but if you do it for for instance uh, on Binance you might not be uh, you might not have the opportunity to stay liquid and benefit later on from decentralized finance opportunities that are going to be rising from the Akala network so with that being said guys this is uh, this is all we wanted to share with you today remember not financial advice always always do your own research because we are not financial advisors and this video is only for entertainment and educational purposes and with that being said we hope that you enjoyed this video if you like the video make sure that you hit the thumbs up and then leave a comment down below let us know which project which auction you think is going to be the best we'll try to make some videos to cover uh some of the most uh, interesting projects uh, that are participating in the auctions definitely Akala is one of them we'll make a video soon uh, on a breakdown of that project so with that being said guys we hope that you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one goodbye